Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot and Oracle card reading for May 2024. This is going to be a reading for all Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be the theme of the reading brought to you from the Moonology Manifestation Oracle card deck. Last quarter moon in Aquarius, reflect on your priorities, okay? So we'll see what that has to do with love, and uh, we'll consult the tarot here, and then we'll close things out with a couple of other oracle cards. What advice do you have for cancer to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What does cancer need to know about love, please? All right, we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice, your energy, the Queen of Cups, Death, and the Knight of Swords, their energy, the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Tower, oh boy, the advice, we've got the Moon, the Eight of Cups, and Judgment, so very interesting reading, especially with the Moon and Judgment, I was kind of hoping we'd have the Sun because it goes the moon, the sun, and judgment in order. And that would be interesting, but we don't have it. We have that hero's journey card instead. So reflect on your priorities. You have Scorpio, Pisces here. We have three, four major arcana, four major arcana. And that's a lot when we only have nine cards. Well, I do feel like with this, that death card is about a new beginning. And so I do feel like if you're in a relationship where you two have had some kind of discord, and it's not toxic, okay? We're not talking about somebody that's totally toxic, but you've had an exchange of words. I feel like this needs to be the breakdown for the breakthrough. We need to have something here, some more communication with this, and get on the same page. You know, it's one of the things when <clears throat> people feel like they've grown apart. We know that love is energy. We come in and out of a, alignment with it because energy is never created or destroyed. But half the problem is early in the relationship, we're too afraid to have difficult conversations, honest, mature conversations. So we wait. And when those issues come up a couple years into the relationship, we accuse each other of changing. Or we say, I've changed. I've grown apart from you. No, the thing was there in the beginning. We just didn't talk about it. So I do feel like there's some kind of subject matter with that Knight of Swords. He seeks the truth. Now, the good news is your person has the King of Swords. So I do feel like if it is a relationship where you need to get down to center, you need to get back to center and back on flat ground, I do feel like you're going to do that. But with that Queen of Cups energy, follow your intuition. And even with the Death card, because the Death is, death is about a rebirth. Now, if it's a new relationship, I do feel like it's about changing old habits. And it may even be about doing some of those more challenging conversations in the beginning, vetting each other. Is this going to be a match? And, it, you know, that sort of thing. So that, and if it, if it comes out in the very beginning, not just turning a blind eye to it, okay? Because I feel like somebody here has an issue with that in a previous relationship. And so with that Queen of Cups, so that will soften some of the edges around you because the the knight of swords is not exactly warm and fuzzy right try giving him a hug it's like he's all full speed ahead and charge and that's your energy by the way so i do feel like that queen of cups is a necessity here and so with the death card and the queen of cups i do feel like you have an intuitive energy but i also feel like a commitment to leaving things in the past where they belong in the past doing things in a new way so the person that you're attracting I like their energy with the two kings because they're going to be very upfront. Now, there might be something about them, though, where they're a little bit set in their ways because of that, because kings are powerful and they are rulers. And so there may be something about it, too, if they have a job where they're a supervisor, where they have to remember that they're not a supervisor in a relationship, okay, that they have to be able to soften that. And so if it is a current relationship there, again, I'm telling you, I do feel like you have love here. It's just that there needs to be some communication coming in. And so whoever this is, though, I do feel like they're quite logical. They're a go-getter by nature. They may have had some challenges in their past that they've really learned from. And I also feel like they're quite dependable. It's somebody who you can count on. If they say they're going to be somewhere, they're there on time. They've got a lot of wonderful qualities. But I also feel like, too, with that tower energy, 
there's something about them where they may have had a real juggernaut come into their experience that really turned them over on their head. Like they had a real learning cur curve. And I also feel like that may have done something for them to bring in some humility, I guess, because those two kings, you can be quite powerful and dominating with that. But when the tower makes an appearance in someone's energy, I feel like they see things through new eyes. And so especially too, if they had a relationship where they got cheated on or dumped or something like that, it may have really given them a radical new view of life. And so it also too, for somebody, it may be an air sign that you're attracting, Aquarius, Libra, or um, Gemini here. But I do feel like with this, that tower energy, they had a shift. They had some kind of life-shifting energy or experience is the better way to say that. And I do feel like they've come out on the other side of it softened and more aware and more eager to really be in a relationship that they take care of, that they cultivate. They know the meaning of life, okay? Whatever happened with them, it really gave them a new vantage point. And it also, too, helped them let go of some old beliefs, some old patterns that they were in, and especially if they did have a betrayal. I feel like that has given them, talk about reflect on your priorities. It's really helped them reflect on things and put their priorities in the right place. Now, if you're asking about reconciliation, I'm going to tell you this person still keeps tabs on you, no doubt about, and you do have communication coming in. With this energy, though, you have the moon and the sun twice in these, in just two of the cards here, which is fairly important. And the communication that you're going to receive is like really is getting you to the next level, level. It's a higher love. It's a more mature love than you've had in the past. But I will tell you, with that Eight of Cups, that hero's journey, it is a deeper commitment. It's a very intimate emotionally and spiritually intimate relationship happening here. So if it is if it is reconciliation and you know you had a deep connection with this person, I do feel like there's a second chance happening here. Now the moon always reveals things. It helps us see ourselves in a new light. And so I do feel like with relationships in a new relationship, I feel like you're going to see the potential, the opportunity to really grow and use what you've been through in the past to help to guide a relationship as like a brand new beginning. But with the judgment card, that is truly self-mastery. So you have a turning point. You have a tipping point that brings in freshness. It brings in joy. It brings in, I mean, they're celebrating getting into heaven. It's like the biggest day of their lives are, is represented in the judgment card. So I do feel like it's going to put you on a higher platform. It's going to be in a place where you really know what love is and where you really celebrate being in a partnership. And I'm talking about a real partnership coming in here, not somebody that needs to be cared for. It's not codependent at all. So I feel like you have a big transformational cycle coming into your love life where you're really going to be able to leave behind relationships that were more like parent-child or caretaking. And you're going to be into a place where it's really spoken the truth is what I heard spoken straight from the heart because there is real love here so with that let us see what we can find out from Louise hey life loves you okay and then we'll get into the angel answers everything is working out for my highest good so no matter what you've been through know that the universe is always conspiring with you sometimes people ask how do I know what's in my subconscious? Well, just look around you. You are not a product of your environment. Your environment is a product of you. So what's your love life like? And that will tell you. Trust that even in challenging times, the universe only wants the best for you. So the universe gives you what you are, gives you based on your feelings and presents you with the people that are a reflection of your innermost feelings and your innermost beliefs. And so with that, if there's if there's been challenges in relationships, then it may have to do with the subconscious and using some of the spiritual teachings to impart on our subconscious to help us to re sort of reprogram that and give our subconscious a new picture, a new identity of what we want our love life to be. So let's see now what the angel answers wants to tell cancer what else does cancer need to know about love advice please for cancer about love 
no need to worry. So again, worry is one of those lower vibrational feelings. So we don't want to stay in a state of worry, especially if it's a reconciliation. That's why there's so many videos about how to manifest a specific person in 30 days, no contact and all that stuff, because people are scared. And so they will latch onto those types of information to try to figure out how do I get this person back? Well, the last thing we wanna do is worry because all we'll do is attract more situations to worry about, communicate clearly. So command your subconscious, but also to the universe exactly what you want. See yourself through your first person eyes, experiencing this love, a love like no other. And you've got ask for help from others. So your energy too with that Knight of Swords sort of charging forward. I do feel like with this, you may have a sounding board or someone around you. Now, if you are single, it is important to put yourself out there. Let people know that you're interested in meeting new people because you know what? You're ready. You're ready for a relationship. And you've got a yes. So is it in the cards? Yes, you've got a tipping point coming in here. I love you too, Cancer, and I'll be back again soon.